Hello Leos, welcome in to Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. I hope that you are doing well. I am here to present your reading for Leo signs, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus. Get some messages out for you to see what's going on in your energy at this time, Leo. All right, let's get some messages. Leo. Messages for Leo, please. What's going on in Leo's energy? Leo's messages. Any other messages for the sign, Leo? <laughs> okay, then. <clears throat> okay. Looks like we're ready to get into the messages. We have the Three of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the, th the Six of Swords, Hmm, wow. And then here we have the Three of Wands. I'm going to keep this here. I feel like somebody is getting a new beginning. All right, so Leah, go ahead and focus your intention fully on this deck of cards so that we can get the best reading out for you possible. Right? Let's get started. Focus on this deck. Hmm. Yes. Please and thank you. Oh, I feel emotional layers that are feeling a bit stubborn, feeling unhinged from love and giving, being able to not being able to pour out or crying tears, overflow of emotions something with your love life uh, maybe moving away with your finance life <laughs> you know your finances moving up or moving to focus more in that area aligning with the truth of who you are Leo hmm. I feel like they're not really caring what other people are thinking of you at this time. Wow. Is it me? Ooh, Leo. Hmm. I feel like there's as if you're being forced to express yourself. I don't know if it is anger that you're feeling, sadness, joy, frustration a bit. Oh, feels like anger. <laughs> we have the three of swords here. It feels like Oh my God. Just bear in mind that the readings get better in time, all right? So this is the Three of Swords. It feels like being hit where it hurts and probably left in your moment of mourning, of, of being broken, just left in that moment to mourn. As if you were left to mourn on your own, maybe. To deal with something on your own, to find your own strength to get through. Maybe you were crying a lot. You lost something. Sense of loss here. It causes self re reflection, introspection. Okay? That's what I'm seeing. Broken heart, betrayal like in the 
storm crying Leo are you feels it feels like you might be overcoming that energy actually as if it is being burnt out of you so maybe that is the anger because I feel like it is it is the last of the flames almost to leave the feeling in ashes so I feel like it is the end of this feeling of that pain the memory and the pain that it comes with is being burned to ash so the pain will subside it will leave you maybe it, it is it is anger that really evokes the demolishment of the pain it is anger that is needed to really heal the energy of anger to really burn that pain out maybe i think something like that that's that's a feeling that i'm getting here you feel stronger i don't feel like you're sorry for yourself you're maybe just angry and ready to release it that's a good place to be um so release it well in a way that will replenish you i feel because there's water here death yes letting go of something to welcome in the new it's like you're ready to say take this away from me death has come to collect it it's it's done i feel like you're strongly over this pain and it is done it's being burnt <laughs> as if thrown in the the pits of hell to burn and you're now released of that of carrying that burden that painful burden I feel like it is your self-worth you know that it wasn't your fault you're better you deserve more your strength came through for you here your lioness you roared out of it yes i feel like it it might be that roar that actually caused an echoing healing reverberating throughout your body like it some sense a light an awakeness an alertness came in through you and you felt better you're better than this and it is it burnt and it is over and death has come to claim it you are giving it up the pain to move on into better my dear oh yes yes this is my transmutation card turning your burdens into light card okay this is taking something that was heavy and offering it up to the wind to take it away light so I feel like after this pain has been taken away and the fire has receded and the ashes blown away in the wind, it becomes light. You are now lighter because of this situation. You feel more glowing, more powerful, more energized, ready for the rest of your life ahead of you. You are ready to let it go because you have seen the the profit of this of this anger this pain it has brought some light to you it's like you over you were an injured lion and you healed you healed lion <laughs> imagine that and it feels glorious like i feel like it is a wonderful healing that you went through to release burdens make them light you're now happier more free to welcome maybe some of your walls have been taken down you feel so valuable so sure of yourself your heart where you want to be guided tuning into the things that you love to do actually going out more rather than feeling caged in by pain you're freer you're moving you're releasing you're actually living your your lifing as if actively being a part of life every day moving about spreading yourself beautifully you're happy so
so it's looking forward to the rest of your life instead of this pain transmutation here energy of the magician here we have standing by you i feel like there's a spirit guide that is present in your life that helps you out in wisdom and courage and sense common sense even intuition yes all right so let's go we have the king of pentacles heading the second column here king of pentacles a wise man and intellect a possibly a trader somebody who trades bitcoin that kind of energy financially intelligent financially intelligent honorable person as well all right let's just see what's the movement because the you ended the light the burden over here and turned it into light to so value could be you used your pain as a way of healing writing a book about something to help others to get through situations that you yourself have been through so it's like you you figured out a way how to maybe financially gain even to give it up to surrender and to surrender it's as if a woman who went through abuse and she was ashamed decided to give up the shame of the abuse and tell others more about what she went through how to heal how to get through so it's more giving up onto something that was you held back and it caused you to even reap financial rewards just by letting it out instead of holding on you know so that's we see the king of pentacles financial rewards up here sitting pretty feeling good the seven of wands i want i feel like you put in the work for this to be here I feel like where the work that you're doing you're giving a lot of value you're sitting you're you're in a position where others can look at you so even though sometimes you're very composed in your energy you have to remain highly valuable in feelings to give off that energy to others not in a fake way but you have to maintain you have to remember to breathe to relax to think positive thoughts you have to be in that high vibrational place when you're presenting yourself because we have to practice all preach right so you have to represent that don't mean that you don't you're not human and you still don't go through your your little um scenarios of, of wanting to to be accepted to to be welcomed and loved appreciated for who you are and so sometimes because you still have that energy in you you have to be it's not an easy road let me just say that to sit where you sit because maybe people come at you because maybe of what you have been through in the past but it's not easy to sit where you sit because you still have opposition but the, the best part of this is that you are the stronger one you know you have the upper hand in this all of this and I feel that these people are situations that may oppose you in some way or give you a hard time are here to strengthen you further to help you to build more solid foundations in your business because sometimes it's the critics that that helps us to elevate our business so you might be getting some harsh criticism or <coughs> excuse me our judgment and you have to be defending yourself standing there it feels like oh my god all right never mind i'm not going to say that but it feels like when something brand new comes into town a new way of being 
and then you're really standing alone there isn't really anyone that's doing what you're doing like a new bookstore comes into town and like one of those movies and you have to be defending yourself because who opens a bookstore in this kind of town right so so who is doing what you're doing really everyone is doing what each the other is i feel like you're standing out you're doing something different and so it's gonna come with these little critiques that um they play on you because they don't really they're not really open yet to the new idea to bringing in something new and so i feel like to own your queendom or your kingdom as the king of pentacles here you have to remain firm and strong agile even flexible you have to be the ultimate king in order to maybe even help these people to understand where you're coming from to be gentle you know lead from your heart express yourself well use your intuition know that you do have the upper hand but maybe when people oppose you they're really looking for 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 um more reassurance you know i think you know that and so you're being very wise a wise leader of your kingdom where you want to go that's your financial just huge i feel it's such a huge mission your career profession finances <clears throat> let's see oh my gosh look at this the sun i said i feel like it's so big i feel like it's a huge thing that you're doing it's amazing so you might have a platform where you are representing holding the flag for representing something you have to have this great sun energy this is your card leonians you have to have that energy to be able to get through you do so even though these little things come at you and you have to be defending yourself <clears throat> you do it brightly it's like you burn <laughs> You burn what is to be burned out from the root, you just burn it out from the root and get rid of it. And what can still flourish amongst them, you water, you nourish, you're still very wise and firm. The sun is here with you. I feel like your words are aligned with your mission. So when you come from a true place, when you speak, mm hmm. This is an amazing card. A lot of things are going on for you. It's like a, a real transformation. Like, look at you from over here with this card. <laughs> so here aligning already with your son and being glorious in your work, fearless, not fearless, but adaptable, creative, mindful, self-loving, you know, feeling oneness about all of us here. And really just going off leading through your own lion self leading from your heart you got your courage back to lead lion from your heart so you're in your glory it is as if you've been you you're now out maybe you're now free from the feelings of being criticized you deal with it so tactically nowadays I feel like so you, that's why you're really sitting here as this wise king. You are. You're looking forward to moving or to get something out of your kingdom. To send something off. What is that? It's like you're looking forward to king of wands. This feels like an old identity that hangs around in you. As if you had a twin brother that somehow lives inside of your head. And you, you it's like a mission to get rid of this, this energy. What is it? 
because it's the king of pentacles and the king of wands i feel like you're trying to excavate excavate someone as if send some banish because this this six of swords feels like banishment standing your gr your ground sending away moving away so i feel like you are i don't feel like you are the one going it could be this king as if you're you're banishing a king <laughs> this and this is actually this card has the essence of Leo as well the fire sign the wand creativity productivity virility <laughs> so it could be that energy of mm, what is that You're sending it away Okay, Leo. Judgment. <sighs> Judgment. Judgment and you're sending it away. I feel like you're banishing something. Is it another? If it, is it the king that betrayed you or the queen out of your castle? Could it be a, a king that you're banishing? Your brother? Banish, sending them away. Do you see the six of swords? Someone being sent away. Leo, who are you sending away? Feels like you're sending away a lion too. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what is happening? Because we have some sun card, some Leo vibrations out here. And then we're banishing a king from the land. Could be this, this that you are dealing with the criticism. Banishing someone who stood against you. Oh my God, who is that? I want to know who was standing in your way that you had to banish. You had to say, burner, burner, like judgment. It was a big affair. The whole kingdom came to watch him disappear. Wow. It, it's amazing. You banished this person. It is the death card. The, the uprooting. The weeding. The weeding out. And this just a beautiful transformation. The page of pentacles. So a message might have come through to you to possibly watch your back against someone who has it out for you. Uh, whenever I see this game, I feel like there's someone that is horny. That, that just, yes, they are loyal and good and, you know, hardworking, creative. But they're very virile. Not very virile even. They just are sort of unbothered about having just um, sexual intercourse that is not really of the highest nature. Just too flingy. That's what I get. This person that just holds this, this thing in their hand. Their penis in their hands that's how it looked to me and feels so it's not that they're a bad person but it feels like this energy needs to go if that's you who are who are dealing with this and you need healing yes you know it needs to go i feel like you really need to send it away out of your kingdom banish it okay let's get some more clarifications where are you banishing all right Thank you so much for being here, Leos. I hope this message is getting through to you. Messages for Leo. Knight of Wands, Magician on the bottom. We have a lot of wands here, well, several wands cards. 
representing for the Leos, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone could be coming into you, Leo, that's bringing you an, a heightened sense of passion. It could be what lit the fire to burn the energy out of you in the first place though. Look out for something coming into you. There's transmutation of energies definitely going on here for you to have come to this amazing place so swiftly I feel. The magician was at play. You used your intuition, you tapped into your soul. Your courage, your lioness just came out of you. It's, it's roared out. It was lit by something. It was like, I'm having no more of this. And it transformed. It was just as if that's all you needed to say to get it out. And you woke up in a brighter day remembering who you are, your strength. <coughs> and then the message is for King of Pentacles. For Leo. Okay, new beginnings. Leo's new beginnings in love here. Family life, prosperity, abundance, joy, which is also represented in the Sun card. Plenty abundant and joy. You may be looking to really start a family of your own. Maybe that's why you get to ring it. You're banishing some unserving energy so that you can welcome in something new. You may be wanting to manifest a queen, a Cancerian, somebody who's of the water sign, Cancerian, Pisces, or Scorpio. You may be looking to settle down with an energy of that. Someone who will be able to hold you, listen to you, and be on the softer side of your you know the life that you live who you have to be the up, your upstandingness someone who can really be dependable in your circle maybe start a family with you know the queen of cups energy is here as well on the bottom of the deck could be a cancerian that's coming into you that is healing you that has provided something of healing water for you Five o'clock, six o'clock. Moving away from conflict. Well, there are so many cars out there today for some reason. Moving away from conflict. Taking, getting rid of what caused you conflict in your energy feeling. You made the call, you stood up for yourself. To get stand up represent and trample on any energy that causes conflict in your environment in your kingdom it could be even internally emotionally dealing with this kind of energy and you're ready to release it let it go banish these energies out of your life because do you stand for something greater more powerful to not be wounded as easily and that is why you healed so beautifully and wholesomely stronger and uh, so moving getting rid of the, those toxic energies out of your life taking them away from you <clears throat> coming into a, a day of prosperity clarity you can now feel like you can create the world that you want to live in around you. 
I feel like when you move this energy out of you, you will have it under control, really. You won't be worrying about it coming back. It, that will just be the end of that energy, really. Just, you have it manned. It's controlled. It's being watched and guided. All right. So that's what we have for you, Leo. Thank you so much for coming through. I hope that these messages resonate. Please do consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel as a way of showing your support. It's much appreciated. And I'll see you next time. Much love to you. Bye. Thank you.